Welcome back to another simulation performance-based question. This is a drag and drop that I made for the 1102 exam, the 220 -1102 exam or the core two exam, which is software-based. Haven't had a lot of videos for the software part. Okay, so here's the task. You are tasked with using a command prompt for networking. Instructions, drag the item to drop and all items will be used. Okay, so let's take a look at the different commands we have here. Maybe you know them, maybe you don't. This video is intended to be a more basic video. Maybe you haven't done a whole lot of networking or maybe you're new to the command prompt and you want a place to start. This is a great place to start to learn those things. Okay, so first command we have is ping. Next one is IP config, net use, net stat, and trace route or trace RT, some people say. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what each of those do. First command we have is the granddaddy of them all, P-I-N-G, ping. Ping is used so frequently in the field of IT. I feel like most technicians doing any kind of job, if there's any computers involved over the network, they will use ping to diagnose. Is the computer online? Is it offline? You might even do ping sweeps and have to get information about multiple hosts on your network. Okay. Oh, so I'm not paying attention. I've already made a mistake. I didn't put .com. <laughs> okay. So ping youtube.com and when you get a reply here it'll have the ip address so youtube actually is 142.250.176.14 and reply yes we do get a reply the bytes we get is 32 the time it took to arrive to us is 58 milliseconds and the time to live is 53 okay so what are IP addresses? Um, do we need to know them? Well, not really. Every server out there in the world has an IP address. Your computer has an IP address inside your router at home, but computers know that, oh. That just went straight to Google. So it's a little funny, right? Maybe there's more name servers, but this video is already flaming hot right now. I've forgot a .com, YouTube IP points to google.com, which I guess is not that weird because they're like the same company. But anyway, not expected. It's a pretty interesting video. Next one, Netstat. Let's uh, clear the screen here. Be uh kind and polite with the real estate. So uh, if I run the net stat without any switches, yeah, it still does it. Okay, so it shows me on my computer which connections are open and closed. So let's take a look here. We can see the protocol you are using, just TCP. There are, are no UDP packets. Um, okay, local address. So we're dot .100, that's the IP of this VM and all these different ports, okay, the address that's connecting to, and we can see the different states here. So if it's established, that means that the connection is, yeah, it's established, it's going back and forth, maybe sending data or some other service, okay. If it's a close, it's waiting to close, and here, these are just waiting connections. I don't have any syncs. Sometimes you'll get an ACK or a sync, like it's trying to start a connection. Um, okay, that's fine. Trace route is actually something I can't use. Uh, for some reason, my router won't let me use it, but that's okay. Let's do like a trace route online. Okay, um, we'll just do youtube.com for all of our examples.
and give that a little while. So what is traceroute doing? It's telling you how far it has to travel to get to a website. Okay, so here are our results. See a lot of IPv6 addresses. Mostly that's it. Oh, Sydney's using IPv4. Isn't that great? Okay, anyway, it told me from this area in Sydney how many hops it took to get to a destination. And here it took 12 hops. So that's how long it takes to get to that destination of youtube.com. Okay, um, net use. Net use will tell you um, different kind of networking shares and things you have on the network. So here, if I run net use, I can see that I have different shares that you can browse to. So I have a Mac share. So if you want to browse a share in Windows, you can just type in the Explorer, like backspace, backspace, or we say whack, whack. Uh, Mac, right? Whack, whack, Mac. That's funny. It rhymes. Okay. So yeah, you can see there's two different shares here. I have home and iCloud. So I'm just sharing things over the network documents, downloads, and anyone can see that as long as they can access my share. Okay. So you can do that kind of stuff with net use. Um, you can make it even like a network drive. Okay. We'll get into more specific things later. And the last one, I would say like, this is number two silver place here. Ping is the most common one that you're going to use to diagnose if things are on or off. But IP config, it's very common. You need to find IP information while you're just on the computer in front of you. So as we saw here, I was saying that my address on this computer is dot one hundred. And if you see down here, yep, it just tells you that your IPv4 address is dot one hundred. You can find your subnet mask, which tells you like what segment and how many hosts you can have. Um, and then here, your default gateway of where do all the connections route to to come in and out. And all right, so those are the commands. Getting lost here in this video. It's already been pretty wild. OK, so how well do you know those commands since I went over it? Can we start just chugging along here? Uh, all right, so let's look at the first question box. Sorry, guy. You're done. Boom. Okay. Um, so you can see there's a series of numbers, and it looks like, I don't know, maybe it's going down these numbers or connections, and we get kind of, okay, when it, how many packets were sent, um, average, and you get some different diagnostics. All right. So which command is that? Kind of tells you how far away something is. Hmm, what do you want to do when something's far away? You want to tell how close it is to you, you would trace it. Okay, so that's a trace route. Tells you how far away your route is. Pretty good command. Okay, next one. And if you do remember, I said I couldn't run that from my router. So that why it's not black and white. Yeah, extra credit there. Uh, okay, so net use, net use, and then it says like Z, and then like a share here, and home folder, and I said persistent, yes, that means it stays on with the computer every time it reboots, it just remembers that network share, that network drive, pretty useful command uh, when you're servicing computers in IT world. Okay, so that's there, great. Uh, next one, what should we do? Yeah, where do I go now? I guess like here if I'm going down. Okay, uh, reply. Okay, we have a reply message, the bytes of the packet, which is always 32. Uh, and then you can see the time in milliseconds and time to live. So different information of how long it took and the delay of, of a reply. So if you just want one reply from one machine to see if it's on or off, we would do a ping. So you should ping a computer to see if the network card will interact with you or not. And if it does, it means it's connected to the, the network. And if it doesn't, that means you got some work in front of you. OK, 
Okay. Uh, next one. Here we've got Ethernet adapter. Okay, Ethernet settings. These are IPv4 addresses. Yep, IPv4 and then dot 100. We have a subnet mask and gateway. Okay, so we can see all these basic information about our computer and the network we're on by doing a IP or internet protocol configuration. So that just tells you the configuration of your internet protocol addresses. And that means this is the very last one and netstat. So if you remember what netstat does, it just shows you the active connections that are on um, or waiting to happen. Yeah, okay, that's just cool. And when I did the command, I, we didn't see any syncing. Here we got a bunch of syncs. Um, time waiting, closed, and still one established since we did that same command. All of them are TCP. Okay, all right. Well, I hope you learned something new. And if you didn't learn something new, I hope you gained some confidence and you feel a bit better about networking commands from a command prompt in Windows. Thank you for watching and good luck on your exams and have a great night.